Hi ladies, my name is Karen Berry and I'm an independent consultant with Jam Berry Nails and I wanted to go over with you today a few different um, techniques of applying your nails other than the official one that um, you can find on jamberrynails.com. Um, these are just other options. Uh, as always, you'll have the same needed utensils. Um, you have your cuticle for sure, whatever you want to use, um, scissors, and alcohol swabs, and um, something to hold them with, tweezers will work, um, and also a heat source, I'm going to have two different sources I'm going to show you on this one, um, one's just going to use, this is a mini heater, um, you can use a blow dryer too. Um, and the first option I'm going to show you is a rice bag. Um, this is simple. I just made this, um, you know, 10 minutes tops to make one cotton sock, fill it with rice, sew it, and uh, pop it in the microwave, heat it up, stays nice and warm uh, for a while. Okay, so these are going to be um, cold method. Uh, to put them on, that means we're not going to heat them before we apply them to our nails. Um, these are the ones I'm going to use today. These were last month for um, post exclusive, not available anymore. Um, and they were only available if you hosted a party. Um, every month there's a different um, wrap just exclusively for the hostess, and these don't cost you a thing. You have a party, and you sell some nails, and you get a free, um, free sheet. Okay, so I know for a fact that um, on my nails, I am going to use these first five right here, the smaller five. Um, for the right bag one, I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you how to do that on my PG. Just a minute. I'm just cutting this here. I'm just going to cut these five off that I know I'm using. Now what I do is I just cut them right down the center. Fold them in half. Get a good idea of where my center point's going to be. Um, if you have really short nails, you can um, save the center part. Mine are about, I guess, medium. So I just cut them in half. Okay, just like that. Um, first things first, you want to take your cuticle pusher and push your cuticle. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this so you can see. Push your cuticle back. Like on the edge, you want to make sure because you don't want it to stick to your cuticle because um, it won't make it seal and it won't last as long. Um, get your alcohol wipes. I'm just going to do one now at a time yeah, so y'all can see. We're done. Okay. I'm going to clean that one really well. I'm going to, got them cut in half here, I'm going to take my tweezers and go pull back and get the end here. There we go. I'm going to make sure your alcohol is dry. And then you're going to put on your hole. Lined up. Let me see. Okay, see? That looks right on there. Pretty straight. Pretty lined up. Maybe a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to push down. Put it on there. Okay. 
Um, let's see, I have quite a bit left there. You can use uh, nail clippers, but I have these um, curved scissors that work well. Just cut off the access right below my nail. Just like that. Let's see. You can use uh, your cuticle pusher and just kind of move it out, make sure you're getting around those edges to go. Just like that. And then take your rice bag, like that, and just rub it in there right like that. Applying pressure and moving it around. This is great, um, great way to do it for um, kids if you're applying them to young kids. The rice bag's not, you know, you can obviously feel how hot it is. Um, not like uh, applying a blow dryer to a kid's fingers or, um, you know, sticking their fingers up to a heater for them, you know, where they can maybe get have a chance to get burned. That is that. And I'm going to go around it and smooth it out one more time. Make sure I don't have any left. Um, when this one's cooled, I'll go back and I will file the ends very lightly to make sure that I got it off. And there you go. That is your rice bag, cold, cold application with the rice bag. Um, next, let's move on to the next finger. Which one is going to be the next one in line? Um, I haven't turned my feet off yet. Hopefully, that's not too loud. Um, again, I'm going to pull it off. There, just like we did the last one, and put it on. Get it good and all lined up and straight. The good thing with the cold method is if you don't get it on there straight the first time, you, you know, it's not on there and the glue is not, um, or the adhesive is not really warmed up, so it's really easy just to kind of barely pull it back off without losing too much of the adhesive. Okay. Then, now that I've got it on there, I am going to hold it up to the heat for just a few minutes, get it nice and warm. And then what we will do is apply our pressure. Again, you can just use your finger or you can use a cuticle pusher. This is a neat little rubber cuticle pusher that I send out with my orders. Um, comes in really handy at my And there's that one. Um, again, cut it right below the thing out. Just 
like that. Uh, I'll do it one more time, just to put markers, make sure that I'm just getting to a player. And then I just go over it one more time. This nail is really, really curved. So probably should have showed you the next method. So I'm working on this nail. I have a little invention on this nail. Again, once it's cool, I'll run back over the end of it. Um, there's one too. Cold method. Okay. And lastly is the baggy method. Um, the baggy method is really good if you have curved nails like mine. Um, It just works really well. It helps um, distribute the heat evenly. Um, it's probably the method I would recommend. Um, everybody knows. Uh, and you know, it's not um, not that hard. And we got it on, we got it lined up. If you're getting bunch, bunches, like on the side of your nail, if you find that happens, um, definitely don't put it around and then stretch it. Because that's what um, is happening when you're stretching. When you stretch it, just, um, some people it does fine, but with people like me that have odd form nails, it doesn't quite work well. Well, again, I put it on hold and I'm just applying some pressure. Okay. And the same thing. This is going to cut it off. So there's that, and then what we're going to do is take just a regular sandwich bag and stick that nail in there. And we're going to wrap the bag around it. And it flat around the nail, just like that. Sorry, I can't do it off. Okay, then you just hold it up to the heat. And heat this just for you know a few minutes, just like the other one. Um, you'll notice it gets real uh, a lot hotter, a lot quicker. Um, that's what's going to help it adhere to those um, curved nails a little bit better. Pull the baggie off, and again apply your pressure. Where you get all your little wrinkles and bubbles out. Okay. And again, you'll file the end back um, in the hole. So there's the three colored markers. Um, and then all you need to do is go back. File the ends. When you file your ends, you don't want to do it hard at all. I'm going to let mine cool before um, I do that. If you're having trouble with them peeling up at the end, you're probably filing them too deep of an angle or either um, too hard. You barely want to stroke your um, file across your nail, just barely. Um, the way I did mine and cut mine, I don't really have much past my nail, and the heating kind of really, you know, tucks it up underneath my nail, so I really have hardly any time to do. Um, okay, so those are your three cold methods, and I appreciate y'all watching, and I hope y'all have a great day. Okay.